J.D. Cap 26 here, just doing tips, repairs, and hobbies, and we're going to paint this model today. So let's get started on this, okay? So we got to hook up the airbrush and uh, see if that's working. And put a little solution in there. Get that working. model around and uh, you gotta shoot this up this is a uh, color of pearl which is kind of like in the box art so let's put that in the gun This side. grabbed it I have to put some more paint because I, I grabbed it and put it there we go. okay guys Guy, I gotta wash the brush out and I'll be right back. So now we're gonna put a little red on the engine.
and we're not going to worry about the spots that you know are overshot you know we get on other parts we're just going to go over it okay guys let's see bring this down a little bit okay so we're going to take some more of this pearl and I'm going to go over the seat the seat with it just lightly light brush strokes top here and we've got to do this this belt here right here can you see that gotta do that tweezers to move the model around while this stuff dries Get down in the frame use the tweezers to move it This is where your brush comes in handy, you know, because you can just do so much with the airbrush, and you got to jump to your your regular brush to get in all the nooks and crannies. Um, and let's do it right here. Move it. Once you get the paint on there, you know, one layer, your next layer is going to stick a lot better. Okay. I'll let you know. Go back to that axle. Okay, just keep looking for stuff. Let's go to the front of the machine. See if you get all the all the angles. Over here you can't see it, but I can see it. Got a paint in there. Turning it in front here. It's gonna be another long video, guys. Maybe I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it bare minimum, guys. But if you you know some somebody said in the comments a couple of videos back, uh, JD, could you? Uh, show detail painting and I said yeah okay I did I have done a couple uh figure models other figure models and uh grabbed by his tail and uh I don't think maybe that 
uh, subscriber seen the other ones, but excuse me, I gotta grab my water. This is my water to rinse. I'm gonna rinse this brush, let it soak, and grab another brush. It's always good to have a lot of brushes on hand. I'm gonna get back to the red here because we missed on the engine a little bit. And this is already shook up, so I'm gonna put a couple dabs of red in there. And I try to, you know, once I get done with the color, I try to put it off to the left, knowing that, you know, we we may not have to go back to that that color. Because uh, we've already got that part of the model um, done. Let's see. Um, there's flames coming out this. So we're gonna put some red right through the flames here. And then we're gonna come back with the yellow later. Okay. So that's one thing you, you wanna look at. And uh, see the engine looks pretty good. There's those tweezers. Always try to use something to move the model around if you can. You know, you got a nice edge there on the tweezers. It's coming out pretty good. Painting is painting is really the fun part, you know. It was both a, both the assembly and the painting is fun, but I don't know. And uh, put that in, in there, and I gotta grab the other brush and wipe it out because I have to go back to the, the pearl which I used. And we got to do this part right here, okay? Like I said, you're gonna have to may put a couple coats on there, you know. This is an acrylic paint. If you guys want to know what I'm using, um, this is a this is a Aztec acrylic, and I also use Model Air. Um, highly recommend Model Air and Pretex. Wicked colors I use. Those are the three I, I use the most. Um, and you know I do have the I do have the testers enamels. Um, I use those on cars and stuff when I do a car or something like that. They're kind of shiny, you know. Do underneath you want to do underneath he okay, says so you got to get that first coat on there and turn with his tail and make sure I almost dipped into the red don't want to do that <clears throat> don't want to dip into the red paint and just get a nice coat on there it now we're just doing this now with a, a pale type of blue inside of the um where the chain meets the wheel and we're just pushing the paint in gently that okay just to get that and we're looking back at our diagram and we're seeing that the pipe underneath here it's a little blue so we're going to do that and we got to go back to the red and go in there and do the pipe Stick that in there. 
I've got a mixture of water just and um, Windex and just a drop of acetone in that wash bucket. Just a drop. Don't use it on synthetic uh, bristles. I use I don't use synthetic bristles bristles. I use uh, natural natural hair bristles. So I don't and also it'll undo the the metal parts here on the uh, on the stick of the brush. I need a little more I need a little more red here. Put it down. Yes. You see right here. Mix the paint. Get the bubbles out of your paint. Always get the bubbles out of your paint. painted the wrong part that's okay guys if and girls if you paint the wrong part because you can always go over that part you know with the right paint like I just I just spray painted this top of this cap well this cap is supposed to be like a metal part so that drop here what do you call it in we're gonna go to we're gonna go back to the axle again back here in this this right here so we have to make sure we got a good brush here to start you're gonna take some of that pearl because we still got the pearl in the in the dish I'm using here and go over that axle again I'm going to sweep over that axle with the paint. Always dry your brush before you, you know, you dip it into your paint. You don't want to dilute your paint, so dry it. You know, I use a, a, a washcloth to uh, dry, get the excess water out of the brush. So always do that. Always get the excess water out of your brush. So you're, when you pick, I call it picking paint. When you pick the paint up and fill the brush, you are, you got brush and not water. Okay, now we have to go back to this thing right here. And go over that. You find edges are sometimes, edges are a difficult part to do. You can pretty much move this around. When you handle the model, handle it by, you know, a big piece of the model, not a little piece, you know, because you'll break it off. You know, if you use the tail maybe to, on this one, if it's glued in nicely. Okay. So I'm just sorry, I got my big head in the way. And go over these tires a little bit. Good. Get tweezers. Let's go to this side. So spot this part right here is that bluish color. It's his. I guess it's his brake. So we just want to get that colored up to the right color. I uh, generally go off um, the box art 
I'm gonna lean in here so I may be blocking. Sorry guys. I mainly go off the box art when I do a model. Um that's that's what I do. Let's grab him by his tail again. Let me just look back over this side. That's good. And his petal is that is that blue, so I need more blue. Put this right over an empty bottle here. The only thing I don't like about these bottles is they tend to tip over. I wish they were just a little bit whiter. You know the, the bases of them. I'm gonna put that over there. And uh, what was I gonna do? Um, on the pedal. Get the bu bubbles out of your paint. And let me do the pedal here. With tweezers move, move it around because remember when you paint when you paint it's three-dimensional when you paint and we're gonna be introducing a, we're gonna be introducing a new paint so and it doesn't take much you know so we're gonna get the uh it's a yellow and I like to shake it up I do have my shaker but it makes a lot of noise and the next thing I need for doing my videos guys is I need to get memory in my computer because when I do a video like this and it's long it takes a long time for me to edit so I'm shooting, I'm shooting from memory in my computer, guys, now. And, uh, you know, I hope you, uh, support my channel. So I can do that. Yellows, yellows tend not to go on very well. You know, especially over a green. But... This requires a yellow. I could have used a yellow, and I still may use a yellow um, enamel, and that that would cover it. Um, I just have to go over it. Big head in the way. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to go back to this piece because the green is still popping through a little bit. I want to show you. I'm back with the yellow here. I'm coming in here, doing the flames. Okay, like that. Okay, and then we're gonna. We're going to uh, grab it from the wheel, go underneath with the yellow. And we got, we can turn that axle. We got more of that pearl to do. So we got pearl. We got to turn the axle. And when you turn the axle, you got pearl to do. So. That happens, so let's see if we have, whoops. I took the wrong paint on the brush. It's a no-no. And get the pearl here. And do this axle.
Now we're doing the skate. And I chose the enamel this time to do the skate. Okay. To cover the skate. The enamel, the enamels will cover better. To grab right onto the plastic. And I've got a smaller brush here. And I've got to turn it around. There's not much left in this bottle, but it's enough to do the skate. And then I'm going to grab some black enamel. Got a very fine brush I'm working with right here. And I got my big head in the way, right? some paint and I'm going to lift it up and do the bottom of this gate like that hopefully we have enough paint I'm doing it all silver because um, way back when skates were all metal they didn't have rubber wheels, you know, at least mine didn't. You strapped them on, they had these steel steel wheels and, and steel things to go on your feet. And uh, away you went. Put it down. Get a shot of this. Putting the black enamel in the middle. I didn't load the brush. That. And then grab it by the wheel to this side. Use your fingers to brace. I'm going to have to, I don't have my glass jar here for cleaning my brushes so I'm gonna have to put this off to the side this brush you know like that and just let's close up the enamel make sure you close up your enamels tight um, they tend to and make sure the cap is on you know straight they tend to get clogged up and then you have to use pliers to get them off I'm gonna stick this in there for now. It's the only solution I have to cleaning that brush. So uh, now we're gonna do the wheels and the tops of the wheels here. And I chose a emerald green. It's hard to it's hard to paint and uh, film at the same time, but. Just go as much as you can around the wheel without moving them without moving the wheel and then you're gonna go back to it okay basically if you keep the model in one way, you're not going to see uh, the bottom where uh, you don't have to paint if it's in the position, same position all the time. But if you want to be thorough, and watch that skate. Let's turn them around. This wheel. See how it is? And 
remember don't don't fret if you get paint on the side walls don't fret okay don't fret because you can go over it and fix it Like that. I know you guys are waiting for Godzilla to be painted. Oh, when are you gonna paint Godzilla? When are you gonna paint Godzilla? We're gonna do that right now. Turn on the uh, compressor. Shake up our paint. And we're gonna put our paint in this container right here. paint but I think you're gonna need it I'm gonna put like one or two drops of the pearl in okay I'm gonna look at that um, take the you know what we're just gonna cap it off and shake it I was gonna use a stir so let's look at the color uh, let's look at the top of the cap. Still a little bit, I still want it a little bit lighter. So, put in more white and shake it up. That looks like a good Godzilla color. Let's see. He can stand himself up. Come on, Godzilla. What are you, what are you, drunk? That's a good color. And I'm going to put it in the airbrush. So let's see. We're working. Just want to test that. I want to test it. Yeah, nice and clean. You don't want to have a color go on top of a color. Um, so, we're going to hold them like this. And we're stuck okay okay we got the earbrush going again so crush your fingers So it's pulling over again. Holding him by a 
his hat. Okay. That's good. I'll put my glasses on and see if I got a nice even coverage. I think so. That's good. We better let them dry up. Um, I don't think I'm going to spray paint his tail because I'll just mess up the, the eagle cart. Um, but let's do, uh, let's do his, his fins a little bit. We forgot to do his fins. Okay. The uh, airbrush makes quick work. Um, just make sure you know where you're spraying. That's it for that. So we're gonna paint his helmet now. Hopefully I can get in there and get some paint. Yeah, I know I got a lot of I got a lot of white on his um the, the brush. paints too guys <laughs> I gotta get some paints you know getting low on paint tend to pull the uh, model in towards me when I paint. I'm sorry guys about that. It's just I have it so I can see, you know. These are, these are white too. This paint's had it. Let's see. Oh, it's my folk art, too. My favorite. Yeah, I use craft paints to, uh, to paint my models. Sure, why not? They're acrylics. They're about ten times less cost than what you would buy from a hobby store. So... There's a little secret for you. I don't have to put white on my list, definitely. I thought I had a tube of it here. I may have a tube of it hanging around somewhere. After a while, if you don't use it, I mean, it's a lot, you know, to ha hang around, you know, for models. How many models are you going to make if you have the space? You know, that's another thing. I'm running out of space, guys. So when you run out of space, what do you do then? 
make models and sell them. So I, I know some guys do that, but, you know, I just can't. I can't sell my models, you know. I just can't do that. I can't make a model and go sell it on eBay. Okay, so that's got to go in there. I should turn these around. Yeah, this one's pretty, pretty well shot. Folk art. I mean, it'll come in good handy, you know, but pretty well shot. So we're all done with Godzilla's go-kart. And there he is in all his glory. The details on his eyes, um, to get to do details like his hat, I didn't use the decals, I used just painting. I use a two-handed hold with a very fine brush, and that's how I do detail painting, if you want to know. So, I hope you like uh, my videos, I hope you like this model, and uh, I'll post a link in the comments below where you can get this model, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe.